wearing a bulletproof vest under a tan sweater, Chapman remained silent during the court proceeding, holding a paperback copy of Catcher in the Rye, the J.D. Salinger novel Chapman reportedly carried on the night he shot and killed John Lennon. Chapman, who will turn 26 next month, has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. During the proceedings, the defense and prosecution agreed on dates to exchange tapes and reports of psychiatrists' interviews with Chapman. Outside the courtroom, defense lawyer Jonathan Marks was asked if the publicity surrounding John Hinckley, the man accused of attempting to assassinate President Reagan, would have an adverse effect on the Chapman case. I, I think the uh, jury will be able to make a distinction between Hinckley and Chapman. I, I don't know what it, kind of effect, if any, it's going to have on the case. But privately, Chapman's lawyer admitted concern that the public has lost any compassion it might have had for individuals, even sick individuals, who try to kill the famous. A date for Chapman's trial will be set May 13th. Rita Sands, ABC News, New York.